I figured out what I'm going to do to keep me busy here in November. We're going to go ahead and start selling some equipment. I found a really, really good deal in the used section of the store. We're going to go ahead and go up there and take care of that. I'm going to be getting rid of this cedar. I'm going to be getting rid of the cultivator. And possibly, I'm going to be getting rid of that tractor right there as well. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. Yep, that's it. I've decided to get to go and get rid of all three pieces of equipment. Well, the two pieces of equipment and the one at tractor right here. So after repairing and repainting everything, I'm down to like $1,185. Let's go ahead and sell these things fast before I run out of money. So how much are we going to have now? I've got $133,000. That's great. That's exactly a lot more than what I need. And to replace that cedar, I'm going to go and get this multi-fruit planter right here by Chris S. and Riley S. As you can see, it's only $32,000. It's a 56% off right now. It's absolutely phenomenal price. I'm going to go and get this thing as a standard planter right now because I know there's an update coming out that's going to fix the AI issue. So I'm not going to worry about that extra 5% in my yield right now. I've already got a mulcher and I'm not really doing any rolling. Now, as far as everything else on this, I'm going to go ahead and leave it alone. I like the Kinsey look here. I'm going to go ahead and stick with the base capacity on this. If I get to the point where I need it later, I can absolutely add that there at my house. I uh, I didn't realize how big it is. Now, this thing does require a little bit more horsepower than what my tractor has right here. So I'm hoping to be able to sell off some of these goods over the wintertime and then be able to upgrade the tractor or buy a whole other tractor. And then I still have two. Yeah, this thing is massive. It barely fits underneath the shed right here. You guys, it is 8.50 in the morning here on November 2nd, and the silage isn't ready yet, so it's time to go inside and sleep for a little bit. The silage is now ready, so I'm going to go and unwrap it. We're going to grab the bale trailer and then go ahead and start selling this, I think, because the price is actually not that bad. And just in case something comes up at the store, I want to be able to have some money. All right, here are the first 22 going in. And that means I've only got uh, 11 more. Apparently, I can't do math. That's only nine more. Nine plus 22 is 31. By adding these bales in here, now I've got 59 total bales in here that I'm going to be able to sell off because the cows are not actually going to need any of the silage. I mean, they're little bitty babies right now. They don't need that TMR. They're going to be okay on the hay. Now, I thought I was getting pretty slick by putting in one of these right here, the automatic waterers here for the animal husbandries. But the problem is it's not actually bringing any water over here, not even to this one right here that is right next to it. Interesting thing, though, is that all of these guys now have tons of water because, yeah, I decided I was going to put another one right here as well. Now, these things cost me $5,000 each. That's $10,000 and it's not keeping this full. So I'm going to go spend like another 10 K and I'm going to go ahead and use this right here. This is the lizard M J with the 82 studios, 2020, the TLX 2020, uh, tanker here on the back. These two mods work absolutely perfectly together. A little bit of a rubbing issue going on here in the back, but I'm not too worried about that. So this thing is 5,000 liters. So I should be able to pull up here now and not have to worry about making tons and tons of trips. I mean, it's very, very unfortunate that this is even working like this because that um, automatic water over there should do this without me having to come and do this chore every single day. But I'm here, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. And we're going to go ahead and fill up all six of these. That is what is needed. And then probably, probably I can wait on food for like another month. Well, it's 945 and none of the sell prices are any good. So I'm going to go ahead and sleep again for another day here. Hopefully the second half of the month is a little bit better on the prices of the silage. Yep, I was right. So we're going to go ahead and load up all of these bigger bales right here. Should be able to get uh, 14 of them on here. That means I got to make two trips. All right, I'm pulling up right now. Let's go ahead and see exactly how much this 14 bales makes for us. Right, and man, this is going to be pretty good. $37,000. All right, that's not bad. I mean, I should be able to get a new tractor for that. How much are we going to make here on in the next set of nine? Go ahead and unload them right here. All right, $24,000. That means I made $59,000 on that. All right, I still got a lot of bales. Load number three is going to be 22. Oh, I didn't have enough. Uh, 22, four six seven almost twenty eight thousand dollars 
Holy cow, that is a really, really good day for those bales right there. Guys, we are making a ton. I still got two more trips. Oh, number four, 11,500. Guys, we are going to be close to that $100,000 mark here. And with this last load of bales right here, I am sitting at about $110,000 in bales sold. That is definitely, definitely going to be able to give me a tractor. I know I said earlier that like 129 I could buy a tractor. I saw one in the store. I don't know if it's still available. I went back and looked at the store. Apparently, I've slept through too much time. It is now gone. I didn't have the money then. So this is why I need a really, really big bank account so that I can actually get these things whenever I need them because it was a really, really nice, nice piece of equipment. What I'm doing now is go ahead and filling up this bad boy right here. Try and put all of these bales in here. Take them over here and give all of our cows a little bit of straw. They're running out. They really only have like... 50 liters or something like that left to straw so definitely definitely need to take care of them get them over here and uh get them taken care of i really don't know exactly how much is in here but we're just gonna go ahead and start filling this thing up and if it doesn't work out and i've got too much then i'll just come back and uh unload it somewhere i don't know exactly where i'm gonna put it at but i'll put it somewhere maybe go sell it something like that i mean i'm probably gonna end up using just about every bit of the straw and i'm gonna have to figure out a way to harvest some more straw early in the year that way i can make sure that i've got enough for my cows over here i know it only says 93.50 down there at the bottom but i believe i've got like 18 bales in here so as this thing goes down it's probably gonna start showing me that there's a lot more and they don't need that much food do they oh man i got a lot of food in here i guess the sheep are gonna get some food I don't know we'll we'll see this this thing is being contrary right now i need to find a better one because this thing is definitely being a little bit finicky and i honestly have no idea how much food is in here the rest of this is going to go to the sheep if there is any left 16 percent, perfect all right time to feed the little sheeples the last job of today is going to be go ahead and use this tank truck again to fill up all of these water containers the guys i have literally no idea why I cannot get this thing to autofill, but not. I have to do this job every single day. This is making me really regret getting these little huts right here. So there's nothing else to do, and I'm not really going to make a whole bunch of money here in December, so I'm going to go ahead and sleep till January. And this grind of feeding and watering these things every single day is getting a little bit tiring, and I got to figure out a better way to get them in, a, uh, in an area that holds a little bit more food. Well, that's going to be it for today, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a like if you would. Make sure to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications to keep up to date on my future videos. While you're waiting on those future videos, go and check out one of these two right here. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53 signing off.